Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today's adventure will take me down to the Orange Circle where a new establishment is having their grand opening. A place I've never tried. I have seen around other areas. I do love a good caffeinated beverage in the morning. Phil's Coffee, P-H-I-L-Z, is rearing its head. I'm going to be there. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Seems to be pretty quiet at this hour. Current time, 9.21. They open at 10. Now, this is not the only location. There are others scattered around. And I've waited till now to go to one. I've heard good things. I'm ready. In passing some of the others, I contemplated trying those locations. But I figured, heck it, I'll wait for the hometown area one to open. I have certainly frequented that Starbucks, which used to be the Daily News building, on more than one occasion. We're gonna bypass that one for now and head to the new spot. I love it through here. So peaceful, so beautiful. Okay. One thing that's nice is pedestrians that walk across here have the right of way. So traffic has to slow down until you go by. Scrolling through the app here, it says cool off with a mission cold brew. They also have croissants. You can restock your pantry with items. An iced coffee rose, that looks pretty tasty. A Philharmonic, don't know what's in that, but I like the name a lot. Jacob's Wonder Bar. Yeah, I don't, okay, this is what I have been told, this is what I have been told I should get, and I've seen others talking about it. It's a mint mojito, M-O-J-I-T-O. Is it mint mojito time? It says large. Creamy cream, sweet sugar, and it's iced. Normally I like hot coffee, but I might have to go with the ice today. I'll try it. Let's, let's hit, I'll try it. Okay, it's working. Oh, I don't need two of them. I only need one. Let's hit remove. Let's hit remove. Okay, we just need one. $5.60. cents. Uh, let's see, you got a tip on there. Let's do 20% for the tip. Select a location. And there's a couple of them here. So as of the recording of this, it is August 13th. Today they open at 10 a.m. I am 0.1 miles away. It's located on North Glassell Street. It's not letting me... It's not letting me do it. It's not too incredibly early. I've already been up for a couple of hours. But it is, it is nice down here at this time frame. Not a lot of folks, plenty of elbow room. It's right there past what is now used as a church building. The old theater has just passed that building on the end. As of right now, a few moments before the official opening, doesn't look to, to be too many people in line. Really liking the neon signage there with that little, that warm cup of coffee up top and the cloud formations behind it. Now on the washboard, it says store hours 6 a.m. to 7 p.m., but on the app it says 10, so I might be able to be... Okay, no, I just, I just overheard the gentleman there at the front saying it is 10 a.m. today, but after today, it will be 6 a.m. Um, free first copy if you use our app. And the benefit of the app, the reason we're trying to get everybody to do that is um, it actually lets you come and choose your pickup time so you know exactly when to come versus creating a big line around the block. Or, or so if I order up. on the app today and tomorrow, the first drink is free. Exactly. It's cost. Yep, you got it. Next two days. And then uh, we start opening up at 6 o'clock tomorrow. So today we're opening up at 10 just because it's our first day. And, and set up, but yeah, going forward, a six to seven will be our normal. And the reason I can't order on the app right now is because it's only 9.45. Exactly, in 22 minutes, you'll be able to order 22 minutes, I can order on the app and then go up here and 
and grab my coffee. I'm gonna go with the, the mint. Now I'm being told that is one of the most popular items. Yeah, the mint mojito is one of our one of our signature drinks. So an iced mint mojito, sweet and creamy, is uh, is pretty incredible. If you if you haven't tried that, try that first. But once you've tried that, try our iced coffee rose, um, which is uh, which is another really popular one. Okay, I'll we do actually, the mint, and then maybe next time I'll have the rose. Sounds good. All right. Can I get you a mint mojito going right now, though? I don't want to make you wait. Wait another 21 you, minutes? Yeah, I'll take, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, what that size would, would you like? Uh, whatever the largest is. You got it. Let me go get you a large mint mojito, sweet and creamy good. That sounds perfect. Okay, I'll be right Thank back. Thank you so much. I Give appreciate it. Time. Wow, very nice. So he is, he is pretty much anyone that's already here. He's going ahead and comping the drinks and getting them started before 10 a.m. And here's a little pamphlet here that says how they craft a cup of love. But it appears as if they have some complimentary stickers and okay these are stickers not really sure what these are these little circular items kind of looking in the window this mural is very very creative mural here on the side where it says phil's cup of love judging by this might have started in san francisco so you pick your blend they grind the beans so they're fresh they brew each cup one at a time right, thank you so much yeah of course and what was your name again i'm rob rob yes and you're and what the. What's your name? My name is Adam. Adam, good to meet you, Adam. And wh what do you do here, Rob? So I'm the chief operating officer here at Phil's. Excellent. I've been looking forward to this. I've walked by here a couple <laughs> dozen times, been counting down to the date. That's right. And now about we've this. Been, we've been waiting for a long time too. We're excited to finally be here as well. And it's not only my first time at this location, but it's the first time I've ever had Phil's coffee. Oh, so this well, is this is uh, even more special. I should have left the lid off for you so you could see <laughs> with the mints and everything on top. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's got the mint on top? Yeah, oh, we yeah. put the mint on top, a little wow. bit smushed in there with me putting the lid on. But yeah, mint on top and... Excellent. Does this yeah. now, does this come in a hot coffee or is it just ice? Um, we can do it hot, but we recommend this recommend one ice. It ice. Looks as if now they are handing out those stickers. I gotta, get my, I gotta get myself one of those stickers. I feel so honored to have this. Everybody else is kind of looking at me. You want this, don't you? Certainly has a very minty flavor, but it's not too overpowering. It has just the right amount of mint. As the bus goes by. Nice to have a, a new local spot. Oh, that the little piece of mint is right there through the little sippy section. They gave me not just one sticker, but three, yeah, three little stickers here. I'd say for me, that was a successful first visit ever. I'm looking at that, that Hobbs battery signage up there. A little relic of the past. There is a lot of nostalgia and history down here. Like this camera sign, that's, that's seen some years. This states, if I'm looking for a a strong dark roast to try that wonder bar that might come in a that might come in a warm that might come heated also states there are over four million ways to enjoy their items customize the drinks and if you like yeah customize your drinks take a sip to make sure it's perfect from what i can tell the philharmonic is a warm beverage it is a real beehive of activity out here. It's good to see. It's saying about a 15 to 20 minute wait, so you gotta be a little patient. Gives you a little countdown here. Oh, it just went from 19 to 18, so 18 minutes. I will have my, my other item. Two items in one morning that I've never tried before? It's the makings of a good time, <laughs> right? Countdown continues, 10 minutes. Oh, I can almost taste it. That really is a statement that makes no sense because what I am getting I've never had before, so I can't almost taste it. So nice to see I am not the only coffee enjoyer out there. I'm not alone. Only two minutes to go. This is a really nice angle here through these, these leaves of the tree, the palm trees. Oh yeah, it has happened. And James right there even signed, signed his name. All right, and this thing, I can already feel, this thing is a toasty cup of goodness. I'm gonna continue walking down to the fountain and find myself a seat. Not a classic car alert, but wow. 
I think out of all the seats I have utilized out here, this is the one that is most prominent and that I have kind of planted myself on over time. This one near, kind of near the edge, the rim of the circle, if you will, with the backdrop of the fountain. Sometimes it's, there's a lot of sun, but right now the clouds are kind of shadowing it. So it's a nice little seat. There is certainly a hint of something else inside. I can't really put my finger on it per se. I did mention earlier that there might be some chocolate. I, I don't know where I read that, but kind of does taste like a, almost like a, a bitter type of chocolate. Just a, just a sample tossed in there for good measure. Yeah, I can't, I cannot pinpoint what it is. But whatever it is, is a nice addition to the flavor. See, the logo has a little smoldering topping off the, 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 the pinnacle of the cup there. So it seems only fitting to polish this episode off with one that's doing the same. A warm one. And the sun's starting to peek back through the clouds. So I'm going to go over back over closer to the fountain. See if I can find some shade. I'm, I'm going from one bench to... To another. That's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe. By doing so, it helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further. Ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big uh, and thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog. That's good coffee. The vlog is over.